the association of St. Patrick's Day with celebration uh, is very old. It's associated with the idea of festival as a break of ordinary profane time. Things are possible during festival that aren't normally possible. You know, whether it's simply eating special foods, drinking special drinks, these are associated with St. Patrick. One of the things about St. Patrick's Day, of course, is it's in the middle of Lent. Irish people were allowed to break the Lenten fast. An old tradition was that Irish Catholics were supposed to eat meat on St. Patrick's Day. And of course, uh, drinking was associated with it. There was an expression of drowning the shamrock, that uh, at the end of the day, uh, you took the sprig of shamrock uh, off your lapel and dropped it in the drink. And when you drained the drink, you fished out the sprig of shamrock and threw it over your shoulder. So the idea of St. Patrick's Day then, as a place in which you find excess, appears particularly, I suppose, in the 19th and early 20th century. And the idea that it must be, it must be controlled. For a time, they brought in a law that closed the pubs on St. Patrick's Day because the association, of course, with the drunkenness. So there's that sort of tension between celebration and excess, which seems to be part and parcel of festival. There is, you know, the idea of celebration. And on the other hand, you know, when does that get out of hand? Uh, and how do you define what is out of hand? And of course, that changes over time. I mean, when I was a, a child in Ireland, uh, we, we wore our shamrock, for example, and we went to mass. And, uh, you know, my mother would probably cook bacon and cabbage we don't do corned beef and cabbage in Ireland, it's bacon and cabbage. In the local towns and villages, there were parades. And there were basically versions of the parades you see here today. And usually it was a very modest affair. Independent Ireland, you know, for decades, was a fairly austere country. Really that only began to change, I suppose, from the 90s. It became more prosperous, more diverse. I think it changed how how Irish people saw their heritage. It reflected, I think, a change in the role of Catholicism in Irish society. That while Catholicism remained important, there was a sense as well uh, in which Ireland was becoming more secularized and that the St. Patrick's Day celebration should perhaps reflect uh, that sort of society that was developing. For hundreds of years, the Irish have migrated celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day. It has a special resonance abroad because uh, people miss home always and St. Patrick's Day was a means of asserting a sense of community in exile and also a sense of connection uh, with, the, with the old country.